it's Margo from Off the Vine Nutrition and today we are going over part one of the 2018 holiday gift guide. This section is called For the Foodie. So, to all my other foodies out there, people who like cooking, who love food, this um, section is made specifically for you. There are going to be four categories to this part of the gift guide, so let's jump into the first one. The first section is called Good Reads, and this is going to be me sharing with you some of my favorite cookbooks and magazine subscriptions. So my all-time favorite cookbook um, is the America's Test Kitchen uh, Vegan for Everybody, and so this is what the cookbook looks like. You can see I have tons of post-it notes and things um, from all of the different recipes that we've made and love and continue to remake. I really love this book because it goes through a lot in the introduction section talking about what plant-based or vegan cooking is, certain staples that you should have, um, and then kind of the science behind a lot of it. So especially when it comes to baking, baking is a complete science. And so when you make certain substitutions, um, kind of going through why and how like veganizing certain recipes works and how some substitutions won't work. So I really like that aspect about it. Um, I've like bought this for friends. I've recommended this to like most people that I know. I absolutely love this cookbook so much. Um, so I'll kind of like scroll through it for you guys but there's lots of great pictures. Um, there's a great variety in this cookbook um, so there's something for everybody and that's the whole point of it. I'm the only vegan person in my family but the rest of my family still cooks and enjoys eating vegan food and I think this helps do that. Um, another uh, great cookbook that I recommend is Forks Over Knives cookbooks. Um, so this is their newest one flavor that just came out, which is more of a focus on international cuisine, which I'm super excited for. Just learning and branching out into um, other international cuisines. I'm pretty adventurous when it comes to food. I like all sorts of different flavors, trying new things. Um, so I'm really excited for this book because it's going to have like real authentic recipes. Um, it's hardcover. It's an awesome, awesome cookbook and it's brand new and I'm really excited. Um, there's a baklava recipe in here which I'm super excited. That might be the first thing that I make from this. Um, but we have other Forks Over Knives cookbooks um, and I've liked them. I like am on their blog and social media and so I, I know that I'm going to really enjoy this cookbook. Um, so I'll link this one but you can also look at some of the other cookbooks that they've already published if international cuisine isn't necessarily your thing. But I thought this was pretty unique and exciting so I was going to include it in the gift guide. Okay, and another cookbook that I love is Thug Kitchen, Eat Like You Give a Beep. Um, <laughs> and they have a couple of cookbooks as well. Um, this is also hardcover. Um, it's a New York Times bestseller. They have a great Facebook and other social media pages as well. Um, and so this is just an awesome, awesome cookbook. They have, it's just like really like loud and vibrant. Um, they have really awesome pictures, like the food stylist working um, in this cookbook is just awesome, but but yeah, they just have like really beautiful pictures in this book, um, and a lot of great basics and tips, and um, a great variety in this book as well, so I'm super, super excited. Um, and wanted to share this with you guys, but again, I'll link it to this one, but they have other cookbooks that you can look around and see which one you think you'd like or use the most. So the last thing in this section is the Veg News Magazine subscription. I have purchased the subscription for myself or received it as a gift for a couple of years now. I really enjoy getting this magazine in the mail. It's six issues a year for $20. Um, which I think is a great deal and I just it's kind of fun I feel like we don't get a lot of snail mail these days unless it's like bills so um, I really like it they have recipes they have new products new apps um, a lot of great articles and kind of like what's up and coming in the research 
Um, so yeah, so I'm, I love getting this magazine. I also follow them on Instagram and other social media. To stay in the loop, they post a lot of great articles just kind of about what's happening in the <laughs> vegan, plant-based world. Um, so yeah, I really like this um, subscription. So the next section is kitchen must-haves. So this is a bunch of appliances and things that I use on a regular basis that I think are great additions to any kitchen. So the first thing I want to talk about is a crock pot. I feel like this is a staple in every household, or it should be. Um, there are so many different sizes, variations, like levels of fanciness <laughs> that come in crock pots. Um, I didn't want to pull ours out just for the video. Um, but everyone knows what a crock pot looks like. So again, I will link this, but I think this is perfect, especially for people who are busy or are new, like cooking in the kitchen. Um, and so I just think it's a really great tool that's helpful. You can throw everything in at once and when you get home from work, things will be done. Um, and I think people are just like, well, I don't like soup or chili or whatever it is, but you can do so much in a crock pot. You can make oatmeal. So the possibilities are endless there and they have a lot of great sizes so they have smaller ones so if you live on your own or just one or two people in the household you can find a smaller one so you don't have to make like giant batches of things um but yeah so I'll link results to certain crock pots um but definitely let me know if you have a favorite brand or style that you use so we have a food scale which I'm not really someone who like weighs out my food or anything like that but I think for baking if you do a lot of baking this is a great addition we just have this really like like small scale compact thing that we're able to keep in a drawer or on our counter. Um, it does the job. It's nothing incredibly fancy, um, but you can like change the units whether you want it in metric or not. Um, but I also like it for produce. A lot of recipes will be like you need three pounds of this. Um, and I'm not very good at eyeballing that, so if I'm able to prep the whatever the ingredient is and then weigh it, then I'm able to better estimate what I what I need to be. So I also have a mandolin on here. Um, we have a couple different versions, um, but basically you can switch out the blade and also adjust how thinly you want things to be sliced. And then you can use this little protector to poke into the potato or whatever vegetable that you're slicing um, to protect your fingers. So this is what you move back and forth. Um, so it cuts down no pun intended, cuts down on any um, injur injuries <laughs> while cooking. Um, so I really like using it. I've made apple chips recently that use this. It's really, especially for soups or things that you need a lot of things chopped, it's pretty easy that you can just kind of whip through and do things like that. It helps keep everything uniform so it bakes evenly. Um, and you can find some pretty like inexpensive ones. I don't think anyone needs to run out and buy like a hundred dollar mandolin slicer. <laughs> but um, for a lot of these products, I'm just going to be linking to kind of general like search results at Bed Bath & Beyond for whatever the item is just because I feel like a lot of this is just personal preference, like what color or size or price point you're looking to spend on a kitchen appliance is pretty much up to you, um, unless something's like super brand specific that I recommend, then I'll talk about it, but for the most part, you can do your research, you can shop around um, to pick out what you think would be the next thing I want to talk about is a microplane. So I've used this in a couple of my recipe videos. Um, I think for like doing fresh ground nutmeg, we just buy the whole nutmeg and then you can freshly grate it into um, your chili or whatever you're using it for. So basically you can take, pop off this plastic guard and it's just like a regular grater, except it's a lot smaller. I think it's a lot easier to use and clean. It's a lot less bulky. Um, and they have a lot of different versions out there. Um, and it has this little rubber end on ours so that if you wanna like angle it and hold it onto the table and then grate or the countertop, then it doesn't move around. Um, so I really like this. This says Bobby Flay on it, so it must have been some type of collaboration and I couldn't find it online anywhere. So again, I'll just link to some examples of um, microplanes um, and you can pick what you'd like. Um, okay, and then the next two appliances are kind of related. Um, they're like blender food processor type items. 
So the first one is a Nutribullet. I don't have it with me. I think we actually gave ours to my brother when he moved out. Um, but it's the Nutribullet. I'll insert a photo. <laughs> And so this is something that I have used for years. I love it. I think it's great. It's way easier to clean than a traditional blender. I make smoothies almost every day. So it comes with a cup just like this. And then you screw the blade on top and then process it upside down. Um, so I just find that that's great. It also comes with a milling blade. So if you want to turn oats into oat flour or grind up your flax seed or your chia seeds, you can do that. Um, so I think possibilities are endless it's small scale it's pretty reasonably priced I think um, so yeah I really love it and recommend it okay so the next related um, a kitchen appliance with that is the ninja and we have the auto IQ kitchen system which I love and it's kind of an upgrade from the Nutribullet um, but we were kind of blowing through the motors on the Nutribullet so often because we had so many people using it in our household every day. Um, so we ended up researching and trying that one. I love it hands down. So I brought some of the attachments just to show you, um, but I didn't bring the actual motor part down um, to film, but I will, like I have pictures that I'll insert. The base is a little bit bigger than the Nutribullet, but I don't think it's too big or too big of a difference like it still fits on our counter it's still compact um, it just has more buttons because the auto IQ technology kind of will have a timer and it can sense how much longer things need to process um, so yeah so I really like it it comes with you know the cup just like the Nutribullets do which are great for smoothies and stuff in the morning it also comes with a giant pitcher attachment like literally giant I think it's it's a little over like two liters can fit in here so you can make big batches of stuff um this is great if you're gonna do like soups or whatever that you need because I've made soups with other ones and you have to do like multiple batches to puree everything um so this is awesome the lids are super nice they um like everything like locks into place um, and it still has like the vent spout that can open up while you're um, processing but I, I really like it so you get this big blender and then you also get a food processor attachment um, which I really like that was kind of the one thing with the Nutribullet you didn't really get anything wide enough that could be used as a food processor if it was more than a cup or so because um, it just wouldn't do well in the traditional cup um, so I really like that I think for me at least then it's like I'm just have one system I don't have to have a separate food processor and a separate blender like everything's just one thing which I really like um, and appreciate and it comes with a couple different blades um, but yeah so so I really like it I'm happy with the upgrade it is a little bit more expensive but I think you're getting more it's a way it's more powerful of a blender and things like that but I think it's definitely worth it and if you use a blender a lot or you have a big household I think this is definitely worth the investment Okay, so the next category in the For the Foodie gift guide is eco-friendly. Um, so these are going to be more sustainable products trying to get away from single-use, like throwaway plastic items. And these are really great for storage, whether it be after cooking or leftovers, and then also for those who pack their lunch and take their lunch to school or work. Um, so I have a lot of different items here. So. Um, the first one I'm going to do is go over lunch bags because I'm just really excited. I had been looking for new lunch bags for like a year, year and a half. I wasn't like critically looking, but like every time I'd go out, I'd be looking. So I was always kind of on the hunt for them. And what I was looking for was something with a wide bottom. Um, a lot of what I pack is going to be in leftovers or a big salad or a burrito bowl or something. So I use Tupperware, which we will get to later, but big Tupperware, um, which don't fit in a lot of the like narrow, skinny lunch boxes. And I don't really like putting things in sideways because 
I feel like it, it always leaks and I had tried that. So anyways, <laughs> I've been looking for lunch boxes. I found two that I'm super excited about. They're by the same brand, Nicole Miller. I found these both at TJ Maxx, so I'll try to find um, the close, most closely related lunch boxes from Nicole Miller. So I got two. The first one is this really cute one. It looks giant next to me, but I, it's not that big. Um, so you can see it's wide, so it can fit those larger Tupperwares. And it's lemon and summery, and so I definitely use this in the summer, and then we'll use it again in the spring. It also does come with a shoulder strap. But basically the straps like hook on here and it has this cute little matching strap. Um, but I usually just carry it by the shoulder. It's all insulated on the inside. Um, I really love this. I think it's cute and super functional because that's the most important thing to me. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. And then the other one I got that's also by Nicole Miller um, is the one I'm currently using just because it's more seasonally appropriate. Um, so I think this is really cute and it has these little handles. It has on each side pockets that aren't insulated and then the main section which is again insulated just like the other one and it zips all the way down to the bottom which is nice to get things in and again it's wide on the bottom and can fit those larger Tupperwares. So I'm super excited about these. Um, my friends can definitely vouch that I've been having lunchbox struggles. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited and want to share those with you because I know a lot of people do pack lunch. And sometimes if you have a, a cute lunchbox, you're going to be more willing to want to pack lunch, um, which we all know is healthier and less expensive than buying. So with that being said, we can move into the Tupperware. We've switched to, I don't know, I primarily use glass Tupperware. Um, so again, it's just even though Tupperware you're not throwing out all the time, it eventually will need to be thrown out and it's plastic. A lot of the food I like to pack also needs to be reheated and I really don't like heating up plastic because all of those chemicals then leach into your food. Um, and the same thing can happen from just being put through the dishwasher. Um, so we use different like snapware, um, glass, Tupperware, so the bottom is glass, the top is plastic, and they snap um, into place, and they're leak-proof. They have all different sizes and colors, so we have some round bowls. We also have some square ones, like this. And then they ha we have like smaller versions and larger versions as well, so I definitely recommend they have sell them in sets so you can invest in those. I know Bed Bath & Beyond carries a couple different varieties, and I'm a huge fan of them because you can like you never pay full price because they always mail you coupons, um, so there's always going to be good deals, so I definitely um, say keep your eye out for that, especially with Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I feel like a lot of stuff is going to be on sale. Um, so yeah, and I think they're just a great investment to make. Similarly, we I also have some metal, like stainless steel storage containers. This is by the brand You Can Serve, and these are nesting, so there's three different sizes of these, <laughs> like little Russian dolls. Um, so little containers, so these are great. I pack things in these, basically anything that doesn't need to be heated up, because obviously we can't microwave anything metal. Um, but I really like these, so like salads, fruit, little veggies, nuts, anything of that nature. Um, I'll just pack in these. Um, and again, these I like using because they're not plastic um, apart from, like aside from the lid. So it's just a little bit better, more sustainable, more environmentally friendly. Okay, so then I have metal straws. I think everyone has heard about the whole metal straw thing that really blew up this year. Um, and so I had been using, since I make smoothies pretty much every morning, I had been using the Tervis Tumbler, like hard plastic smoothie straws that are reusable. Because um, I didn't, A, I wanted thicker ones for smoothie, like wider straws for smoothies. And I didn't want to be using a new straw every day, so we've been using those for years, but again, they're plastic. So um, we recently switched to metal, and so I have regular drinking straws that are metal. These are like kind of like a coppery rose gold, and they have, this pack came with straight and like 
curved ones. Um, these aren't all that they came in, but I keep some in my car, some in my purse or bag, um, just so if I ever like go out to eat or something, I have them. I'm not a big, like I don't go out super often, so it's not usually a huge issue for me, but it's nice to be prepared. And then they came with, they also come with a little cleaning brush um, so you can cl thoroughly clean out the, the straws. And so they also come in wider smoothie ones um, so that way thicker drinks like smoothies and shakes you can drink. And so these are metal and again it came with a big cleaner brush. Um, and then I have a handful of different reusable baggy type products. So the first ones we have are, I think the brand is called ReZip, and they're just little um, 8 ounce resealable baggies, and I believe they're like dishwasher safe, um, they're food made from food grade materials, freezer safe, BPA free, um, so yeah, I really like these, they're pretty easy to clean out, and the bottom allows them to like stand up, and so... I think we just got like a five pack with a couple different a couple different colors. Um, so these are great. I found I didn't think I was using that many Ziploc baggies, and then I started really stopping to think about it, and I was using them more than I would have liked to. So I'm just really happy to have found these. I haven't had any complaints. They're like leak proof. Um, it's great for storing leftovers or again taking snacks or um, food with you um, in your lunch. And then I think also with these, like each bag gets, it's like equivalent to using 300 Ziploc baggies. Um, so that's just kind of to show you how much more sustainable they are. And then another variety, these are so cute. My mom just found these. Um, and they're also reusable baggies that stand up, but they're like, <laughs> little mason jars so I don't think there's no like functional purpose to it being a mason jar besides it's just cute and kind of is like a play on mason jars so you just open and put your your food in there and they come in a couple different sizes and then a like even bigger size um, that could fit like a sandwich or some bigger items in here um, but these are great and they're like really thin and flat and easy to store and take with you these are also dishwasher and freezer safe they're made without BPA let me check I kept the packaging for you guys um, they're made without BPA PVC latex or phthalates um, so, because they're reusable, they're a little more eco-friendly than your traditional throwaway Ziplocs. And I just think they're so cute that they're mason jars. Speaking of mason jars, I do use mason jars a lot, especially um, for soups. It's like soup season right now. It's cold. So, I do make and eat a lot of soup. And so, I do use actual mason jars. But, I think these are just like a cute variety of baggy. And then another option that we do use also by that You Can Serve brand who makes those next nesting metal um, containers are these wrap things. I don't really know what to call them. But they come in a couple different sizes. And basically they have Velcro and then they unfold. Um, so I will pack like carrots, snap peas, cucumbers in here and then you just kind of fold it up. And take it with you and then the larger size I use for sandwiches um, so this like center square kind of like fits a sandwich perfectly and so it like opens up a lot bigger and I like them because when you open it up to eat it's kind of like a placemat so if you are dropping crumbs or you have kind of like a messy sandwich <laughs> like everything's gonna fall right in here and then you just wrap it back up and take it home to, to wash it and they're super easy to clean um, I did try like the paper like fold over like baggies for my sandwiches before trying these um, but I just felt like my bread dried out too much with them so I do like these and I haven't had any issues like that um, so yeah these are a great option as well and those will be linked we also have reusable water bottles I feel like this is a no-brainer in this day and age. There's really no reason to be using like throwaway regular bottled water. But 
I use a couple of different ones, but kind of my go-to favorite one is my Hydro Flask. I like this size. This is the 21 ounce insulated Hydro Flask just because it's skinny enough that it could fit in my like backpack water bottle spot and it fits in my cup holder. A lot of the bigger ones are nice, like you don't have to refill them as often, but they don't fit in my cup holder. So I just feel like this is like light enough, it's metal, it's insulated so you don't get, it keeps hot things hot and cold things cold, but also like the outside doesn't like sweat or have condensation, which is really nice. And they also come with a couple different varieties of the top. They have like a normal just screw top that you take off and drink. Um, this is just like the spout um, to drink from. And I think they also sell like a straw version. So yeah, I like this. It comes in tons of colors and patterns. And yeah, so if you don't already have a reusable water bottle that you like, this is definitely a good gift idea as well. Okay, so that's it for the eco-friendly um, section. I hope you guys found some new products or things that you find useful. If you have any other things that you use, again, please share them so other people can be made aware and I myself can um, discover new things that you guys are liking. Um, and let's move on to the last section. Okay, so the last category in the for the foodie gift guide is the more experiential gifts um, and so these include gift cards um, so whether that be to grocery stores or favorite restaurants I just think people can kind of be weird about not wanting to give gift cards and I totally get that you want them to open an actual gift and sometimes that's more thoughtful but I definitely think like this could be a great addition to a gift so um, especially depending who you're shopping for. I think if you know you get a, a cookbook, you could then easily get a gift card to um, Whole Foods or Kroger or wherever that person shops so then they can, you know, get some ingredients and try out some of those new recipes. I also think that way they could try new products or splurge a little bit more um, on certain items they might not normally try. Um, and then also restaurants, I just think there's that it's just fun. I think you're kind of giving them the gift of going out to grab lunch with friends or a loved one. Um, so I'm a big fan of that and it's kind of nice too because like you get the gift whenever you open it but then also a month down the road when you you are going to that restaurant you're like oh yeah like you're remembering that gift and that like this person kind of like made that meal for you. So I do really like that idea. Um, you can get tons of chain gift cards, um, but also if there's more local restaurants, go on their website, call them. And I know also in Ann Arbor, you can get like an Ann Arbor restaurant gift card that can be used like all over Main Street. So that's a great idea. Um, I know last year for my birthday, my brother got me a gift card to one of my favorite vegan restaurants in Ann Arbor. So there's tons of things that you can do um, and hopefully this kind of sparks some ideas for you. And then the next kind of experiential gift um, idea is a cooking class. So I actually got this idea because my mom does this a lot and she'll go with um, her mom, my grandma, or siblings or friends and do cooking classes and I just think this is such a great um, idea and I've kind of gone through similar cooking classes through my food science course when I was in school we did like mini field trips so it was kind of the experience you might get from doing a cooking class um, so here in Ann Arbor some ones that I'm aware of are through Sur La Table by like Big Laura on Washtenaw Avenue um, they have cooking classes and I think they even have free drop-in classes to learn different skills and techniques, but I think the cooking classes where you're like making food and like taking things home, you have to like register and pay for in advance. Um, and then also Zingerman's, the bakehouse has tons of cooking classes, especially around the holidays. If you can get into any before the holidays, um, one year my mom went and learned how to make the Bush de Noel and then she brought that for Christmas for our dessert. Um, so there's tons of fun things you can do. So you can either kind of spoil the surprise and ask the person um, whether it's something you guys want to 
whether it's something you guys want to do together, um, kind of like look at your schedules and book something, um, or if you want it to be a surprise, oftentimes you can just buy a gift certificate to cover the cost of the class and then they can then book it later after the holidays um, and it might be a little less crowded <laughs> after that. Um, so those were some of my ideas for that. I hope that helps and that this gave you some inspiration for all of your foodie friends um, or things that you might want to add to your wish list. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and for sharing this. Check out the blog post which will be linked below. Every product will be linked below and discussed in more detail as well. Um, and don't forget to check out the other two sections of the 2018 Holiday Gift Guide which are for, um, for the beauty guru and for the fashionista. Um, and with that being said, thanks again for watching and for all of your support and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.